we see some printed plastic packaging film. When it was being made, a small amount of Symphony's D2W additive was put into the ordinary polymer at the factory. It has become an intelligent plastic. We call it Controlled Life Plastic because it will automatically self-destruct at a predetermined time. The same machines were used in the factory as for normal plastic and there was little or no extra cost. The normal properties of the polymer are maintained so flexibility, strength, sealability, printability and processing speeds and temperatures are still all unaffected. The plastic looks and behaves exactly the same as normal plastic until the end of the useful life of the product which was decided at the time of manufacture. The plastic material which you see here was designed to start degrading after 18 months but by adjusting the formulation of the D2W we can program longer or shorter periods of fitness for purpose into the plastic product. Symphony's D2W contains a catalyst that will break the long entangled molecular change within the polymer which give the plastic product its strength and durability. D2W does not contain heavy metals. At the end of the useful life of the product, the D2W automatically breaks down the molecular structure of the polymer and forms harmless intermediates that are biodegradable. The process continues on land or water as long as oxygen is present and will be accelerated by ultraviolet light and heat in the open environment. It does not need to be composted. The plastic can be recycled if collected before the end of its useful life. At or about the predetermined time, the molecular weight of the polymer starts to descend quickly from around 200,000 to 100,000 Daltons, and the material starts to fall apart. The relentless descent continues past 40,000 units, and from there the material is no longer plastic. Microorganisms, which are normally found in the environment, can then access the fragments, and they are bioassimilated in the same way as natural wastes such as leaves and straw. Here, seen through an electron microscope, are microorganisms colonizing the lower molecular mass residues. Finally, they convert the original components of the plastic to carbon dioxide, water and biomass leaving no harmful residues. Symphony's D2W has been tested for ecotoxicity and is certified safe for food packaging. <laughs>